Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another one of our semi-regular, semi-weekly installments of the Mod Zoo Hangout. This time we have a very special guest. Uh, basically, I'll say that back in 2010, he helped change the modding world. His name is Pazlis, and he did the first documented PC in a desk build. And Bill's showing a video right now of some of his work this was his fourth if i'm remembering correctly bill yes this was his fourth done and um it's quite an honor to have pascal with us uh, i haven't talked to pascal in probably wow like seven years at least from BitTech when we first met and uh, pascal was inspiring people around the world to look at their desk differently now First off, you can see that he's created a hydraulic lift so you can position the height on this desk. But I'm going to skip ahead here because it's all about what's inside the desk. A beautifully crafted hardline liquid cooled system on the inside. And just really, just the craftsmanship was amazing. And like I said, uh, Pascal has inspired people from all around the world to start doing these desk mods. Um, Pascal, tell us, how did you get started with modding? Um, well, it was in 2001, 2002, I got familiar with modding and from there it kept going on and off. And in 2010, I decided to put up a build block until 2014 or something 13 and um, i've been away <laughs> for so long it's now 2017 and well i'm thinking of bringing a build lock on again so we will see oh so you're saying you may make a reappearance this will be the resurrection of pazless back again to claim all the names of of people that have wanted to uh be like you and and create amazing things. You're you're gonna make a comeback and 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 revive the modding hobby community again. Yes, I'm <laughs> going to build <laughs> a, a PC for my daughter, so it will be a, 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 a scratch build from yeah from nothing. You know, you will see. That's awesome. Um, would you kindly? share your build log with us on our community forum at themodzoo.com. Sure. I awesome, agree. man. That's That will make my year for sure. So what we're looking at here is the work log. And this is something that Droog and I always preach. What is it, Droog? A what? <laughs> always, always archive your work. Make sure that you get it up on the, the web in a way that we can find it later. Yes. This is what makes uh, this, well, this separates the professionals from the amateurs. The professionals always archive and pay for their hosting of their photos on a regular basis. So none of that is lost. So people can at some point discover these builds and be inspired by them. So we're looking at this is uh, December of 2010 when Pazlis was building his first liquid cooled PC desk. Um, what's the story? The, the facility that you're in is beautiful. It looks like you got all types of equipment in there. What's the story behind that place? Well, it's the place I work and I can use it whenever I want. If I want to go at night or in the morning, in the weekend, whenever I want. I have the key and the, the, the owner of the factory has told me, whenever you want to do something, go, man, make it. So. That's yeah, I'm lucky. I'll just practice as far as he's concerned. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I'm a, I'm, I'm a metal worker for, let me think, I'm old, so 20, 27 years now, man. Mm, so beautiful. It's a long time. Moss, you remember these stainless steel reservoirs that he created? Oh, yeah. They kind of look, they look, they look an awful lot like the uh, monsoon ones that have just showed up recently. Mm -hmm. The modular ones by monsoon. Yes, yep. these were the first of their kind in our hobby, these stainless steel reservoirs. And here's a cool thing about Pascal. He was so nice that when we did the John Hanlon tribute build on BitTech, um, 
he offered to make a reservoir for the community build that we did. That was so cool. So that build, I wonder if the log is still around, but we can find pictures of it. But uh, yeah, we got one of these reservoirs. I mean, just, I, I would like one. I'm looking at this again and thinking, God, I would like to use one for a new build coming up. Uh, can you still make these? Yeah, man, no problem. <laughs> but I, I'm sure you don't want to have a rush of people asking, you know. Uh, no, but but they, they weigh a lot, man. So <laughs> you can kill somebody with that. <laughs> I was going to say, looking at that size, you could build a PC inside the reservoir <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's big, man, and heavy. I believe the John Handlin build, there was, there was the smaller version yeah. inside it. And Darth Beavis has uh, mounted the, the, the PC together and he didn't mount the reservoir good. So it came <laughs> loose and it, it destroyed some hardware. Man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, man. <laughs> transportation i believe yeah you you have to mount these things good man because they kill it they kill everything yep yep it is just, that is one of the scariest things when you've completed a build and has to go to like a, a an event or a trade show and you're packing it up and you're just like oh my gosh it's like i can never i can never pack it th things you know safe enough to feel comfortable shipping that yeah um, man could you imagine having to have shipped Andrew's uh, Star Wars Rebel oh, A build, I Bill? Couldn't do, dude, I, it would have been a situation <laughs> where we would have had to drive it to wherever it was going. Yeah, just hire somebody with a truck. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Pascal, what inspired this idea of building a desk with a liquid cool system inside of it? Well, um, everybody has a wooden desk inside yeah the house with with the tower inside that's, that thing is cl closed so in that it's it's overheating and it doesn't look right you have to open doors and sit inside a, a wooden cabinet so no i i was thinking of making something that would look nice in a living room and wouldn't uh, take too much space you know so i i was thinking about what can i make and then i came up with this idea and yeah, the wife liked it, man. So it was approved. <laughs> I was gonna say that's that's the biggest hurdle right there. <laughs> yeah, very much. Yeah, so. they they don't want a PC in the living room with a with a screen and and it, it looks crap, you know. Right. So, yeah. So that was the idea coming for. Um, there was. Um, let's see if you find another video here. Uh, the next level inside. Um, and by the way, you can check out Pascal's YouTube channel. It is after his name, Pascal de Grief, G-R-E-E-F. I've got it up on screen there so you can find it on YouTube. Um, but we're just taking a look now at the uh, inside of his fourth desk. And these are really interesting. Are these, uh, these are the reservoirs that we're looking at here? Yeah. Mm. And, and this is stainless steel line? Yeah, everything I make is inside with water. It's always stainless steel, man. Always. Yeah. Is it? Um, so it's marine grade stainless steel. And the nice thing about stainless steel is you can run any type of liquid through it without worrying about, um, you know, uh, corrosion at all. No, it's it's clean and yeah, it's ma marine safe uh, stainless steel. It's it's we, we call it. Uh, uh, 316 it's mm. the coating for the stainless steel it but it also it's not for the weak uh, moss and i have bent these stainless steel tubes and it takes a lot of practice to get it right and make it look good yeah i know man uh, but uh i i did some plumbing in the past also so it wasn't hard for me uh, you you don't you only have to measure uh you, you have the, how do you call it, the tool for bending, the pipe bender, <laughs> okay? And uh, yeah, you, you, you measure it and it, it, it all goes by itself, man. I did are, it a million times bending pipes. So. Are you using um, a mandrel hand bender to bend it or are you using something in the shop there that's more like uh, heavy duty equipment for bending the pipes? No, with the hand. You are, do you, do you know? Offhand, because the one that I had, I broke um, the freaking um, the rigid. It's a rigid brand here in the states. The yeah, for, I have the same man. Also, oh, really? Yeah, the <laughs> Did black you break one. yours? No. Oh, I, I broke mine. 
no, mine is one piece still. Oh, I must have been doing it wrong if I broke it. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so this is another uh, scratch build you did. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Pascal, but you did this completely off the cuff. You didn't do any like type of 3D CAD work beforehand or any sketches or drawings. You just went from the gut when you designed this thing. Yes, it was oh. all inside my head. That's crazy. Everything. I started with a, with a frame. That was the first thing I did, and from there I went mental man really i yeah i mean pieces together and yeah it, it was becoming one strange industrial looking case man like from out of space or something exactly very sci-fi influenced uh i love the design and like even the work that you put into the hard drive caddies like that was those alone must have taken you so many uh, well, suppose, I mean, it doesn't take you long to do this stuff because you're fabricating all the time. Like, how long did it take you to make the hard drive cage? Any idea? Hours? Cage, uh, one hour, something like that. <laughs> one hour? <laughs> yeah. Wow. But you have to stretch the projects, you know, for the for the four. Huh? So I always <laughs> made a lot of pictures and then post it. Because if I want, I make this case in one day, man. So, but whoa, 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 wait! Did you say you made this in one day? Yeah, man. <laughs> Good grief! That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, but you cannot tell anyone because it it it, 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 it must supposed to last uh, at least months, you know. Right. <laughs> So you hear that, everyone? You've got to step up your damn game, right. okay? That, that's that's yeah. it. That gauntlet has just been thrown down. One day. Uh, Pascal, uh, what planet are you from? I mean, I do believe in aliens. Do we have an alien on our hangout? This is just... Whoa. Whoa, man. You just rock when you make stuff. You just like get in the zone and just go. Yeah, man. I, I get... Yeah, put the music on and let's drive, man. No problem. What kind of music do you like to listen to when you're working? Yeah, as long as it's not Dutch, I'm okay. With it. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. is Dutch like? Uh... Yeah, Dutch music sucks. Really hard. <laughs> really. Is it like folk music? What is Dutch music? Yeah, no, no, it, it sounds crap, really. Uh, <laughs> I, we only listen to to English music. It's always about the same, man. I, I uh, uh, I'm 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 uh, crying because my wife has left me, and <laughs> sounds like country. I'm, I'm going like to the country. bar and and drink the shit out of myself. And oh no, man, it's not for me. I don't like this music. <laughs> what do you listen no. to? Like classic rock, new rock, new metal, or? Well, everything, man. I, uh, from easy daisy to uh, mm. uh, 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 yeah, Lincoln Park, uh, or the, mm. the new stuff, uh, everything. As long as it's not Dutch music, I'm okay, man. <laughs> and great. classic, you know, with the violins and stuff. <laughs> and That's well, you not can tell. Thing. I mean, this is some heavy metal work going on here. Um, I had no idea you built it that fast. Well, I stretch it. If I I, I I can build it in one day, no problem. But I, I you know, for the fora and the sponsors and stuff, you you need to stretch this because they want a lot of advertising and stuff. You know, so it's so true. They stretch it out. Yep, yep. Yeah, to get more <laughs> more uh, publicity out of their product. So yeah. Okay. Uh, now you were doing a, a, like a lot of hardline liquid cooling stuff uh, before people were even doing that. Um, do you have like a favorite liquid cooling manufacturer? Well, yeah, uh, Bits Power. Yeah. They had excellent stuff, man. It always mm -hmm. fits good and, and no leaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm I'm very happy with with Bits Power. I always. I always use bits power and for the next level with the hardline uh, uh, stainless tubing I, I used uh, from an Ital Italian brand that I searched for myself and it's called Camosi. And oh yeah well that's like isn't that more for um, like hydraulics and commercial yeah 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 I've heard of them yeah they're nice nice stuff 
it's nice stuff it's it's stainless uh, uh, stainless stuff so yeah it was good i needed this because for uh, uh stainless steel uh, uh, what pipes did i use 10 millimeters i think and you can cannot get anything here for that so i have to uh, i had to look at the internet and, and then i came to kamozi and read it something about it and then i ordered those things in and they were perfect man no leaks nothing mm -hmm. now this out of all your uh, creations this is my favorite flip mode yeah man i, I remember I... this one what is the inspiration behind this design now everybody take a close look at the picture here and see the interior design of this chassis and how it highlights the motherboard where the motherboard is angled so you can really see it nice and this is this is what amazes me is that no manufacturer has caught on to this and this idea this layout because i think it's brilliant for highlighting your hardware inside your build yeah, oh yeah, that, that rake, that 45-ish degree rake, I mean, you, that way you could just at a glance see all of that, all of the money that you spent without <laughs> hiding everything. <in> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right, man. Look at that. If, if I was approached by a case manufacturer that wanted to do a new design to break barriers, I would have to say I'd be influenced by flip mode um i just i love it i mean moss you remember when this build was going on oh yeah i even remember watching that one when it was an active work log going on yeah I, it, it just seems that you know to, to to put a new twist on the layout for your hardware it just it's a great idea i like the doors on it too oh you yeah down to one of those pictures yeah. Inspired by the uh, by the car, yeah, Koenigsegg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 outcoming door and then rotate. Yeah, I love that man. Mm -hmm. uh, it was beautiful. And I I this was the first uh, build. I don't I didn't want to see screws, you know, on the outside. So minimal minimal screws. Plus everybody was building. Uh, 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 a PC with a motherboard straight. So I, I thought, well, when I make it on an angle, I create um, uh, space at the back, plus the, the hardware is showing off perfectly. So yeah, man, the, yes. it, it was perfect for me. I was really pleased with, with the design, man. It's, it's so great. You know, I can't say I've seen anybody do that since. Um, but yeah, you've got space up there for your radiator if you wanted, power supply in the bottom. It just makes sense. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe somebody will see this and get inspired by it to even build their own. But um, I think it's something that a manufacturer should uh, embrace as a design. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, though, with the industry is that Full towers, full towers. Um, the production on full towers has been really cut back by case manufacturers. They're focusing on mid towers because most people only need one video card now. You don't. There isn't a real need for full towers anymore. And of course, SSDs have gotten so much bigger. So you're saving a lot of space. So the whole monster tower movement is really shrunken. You shut your damn mouth. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> I mean, you know, for us old farts, uh, yeah, I mean, I still love a monster tower for a build, but from the consumer standpoint. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, I, I, as much as I love my huge, spacious, want to be able to walk into it computer case, I, I understand where you're going and all of that. But I, I then again, looking at this and all of that wonderful space inside that you can just do everything with and still be able to flop your arm around without losing limbs due to, you know, the confines. Yeah, I hear you. I, I hear you. 
Um, I love Monster Towers because they, they open up so many possibilities for design. You've got the space to do different things just like that. Um, but just everyone's just, they're cutting back. You know, yeah, we had Silverstone on Pascal a few weeks ago, and um, they, uh, they retired the Silverstone TJ07. You remember that case? Yeah, man. Yeah. Everybody was using that. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's, it's gone. Yeah, they retired it. They're not making it anymore. Because yeah, because of the story you just told. Yeah, the there's no, the, there's not a need for bigger towers. Although that was a mid tower when it came out, but it still was a Goliath, huge for its time. I think it had like it didn't have like five, five and a quarter bays in it or something like that. So, <laughs> yeah, something like at that. At least, yeah. yeah. It yeah. was a beast, and but like you said, it had a, a, a lot of potential to do anything you want with it. You know. Design wise, yeah. Um, now today, I don't know if Pascal knew this, but the kids are referring to um, their desks now as their battle stations. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I see battle stations with <laughs> the screens, man. They're using, <laughs> yeah. And um, nobody, not everybody's doing something, you know, like yours. But I've seen there's been a few work logs out there of people doing desk PCs uh, from wood, metal, and other materials. <laughs> Um, but the kids are really into the whole layout of their of their workstation now. Now this is a it, I, this is an individual. I forget where he is uh, from. Damn it! I hate it when you get the tiny little images here. Um, this ha have you ever seen this, guys? I'd heard about him a couple years ago. This no. build. I don't know. Let's see. But it it looks nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, this was all fabricated. Um, it has a very, uh, oh, like a spaceship control panel kind of vibe <laughs> about it. The, the angles on the panels, the first thing I thought of would be, you know, one of those groovy stereos you'd find in the early 80s, late 70s. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Um, there was, um, now, each year you would... Uh, enter in the uh cooler master case mod contest right you, how many yeah. times have you won that competition pascal one time or so but yeah i was i i, I was using <laughs> you know i, I i'm a, a, a how must i say this uh asus and cooler master were, were doing these contests and um, well i refused to use the asus motherboard man so, why is that no, I don't like this. So uh, <laughs> everybody needs the rock shit, and, and so no, man, I, I I don't want to have Asus. So I was always using something else, and I know they don't like this because I get a lot of votes, but then the panel of them has to <laughs> judge me. <laughs> no, then I was I was off, man. They they, they vote me away. Yeah, the guy is not using an Asus motherboard, man. Or Asus <laughs> fit card. So yeah, I know this. <laughs> but no problem. I, I'm so always funny. a rebel, man. <laughs> um, we're gonna take a look here at um, your Google Drive. Um, some of the stuff here. So we can see here, um, flip mode. Yeah. With the door, how cool is that? It was a final picture. But you have the, the, the folders on top with flip mode with all the pixels inside it. So every folder you see has all the pixels inside of it. Mm. How did you um, how did you paint this? Is like a it's a like a matte back matte black color. How did you p paint it with a gun then at the shop? No, I did it with the uh, with the can spray can. Rattle can, all right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, which folder would you like us to go into, Pascal? Yeah. That we could share. Which one? Big, big one. Uh, the that's the desk art. You have the the P four two. It's the. Let's take a look in here. That's uh -huh. the desk. Okay, you can go with the first date. That's the one I started to work. Let me take a look at this. Yeah, that was the second one. Ah, the second one. Yeah. Are you an American muscle car fan? Yeah, 
I had a don't you won't believe it. I had a, a Chevrolet uh, Malibu. <laughs> That's got to be rare over there. Yeah, it was because we all <laughs> drive the little cars, man, with okay. the little engines. So, yeah, it was special. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm, I'm looking for uh, if we can find the final pics of it. Oh, here's some more pictures of in progress. Oh, go back, find the picture in, inside. Um, let, let's see. You need the. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, new pictures, but it's in Dutch. So yes, you have to go on top. The yeah, new yeah, you have the white one. Go okay. see. It's all the fun. Ah, oh, here's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted. The reservoir. Bill found the mother load. I found it. I mean, <laughs> we're in. Okay, so um, we, I, again, I cannot say enough times that what an honor it is to have Pascal with us. This is the individual, again, that spawned these water cool PC desks. His was the first published online, and we're here now, and he's sharing it with us, and he did all this stuff by hand. Um, and here's the uh, his favorite components with Spitz Power fittings. Oh, check that out, Bill. He's using that newfangled soft line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Death guard. Now, in um, right here, where, where my cursor is. Now, those were your temperature. Was this yeah. Was temperature displays. Okay. Do you think you, at some point you may build a new desk, a new design? No. 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 I, I built one for my son, but I don't have pictures. But that's a, the entirely other design, man. Mm. I, it's on his room, but he's sleeping, so I cannot <laughs> <laughs> go to it. But I, I, I will show you those pictures in, in, in the next couple of days. No oh, problem. Okay. I don't have pictures on my, on my desk, so... There's a great shot right there. Um, what is the difference between your son's desk, to de desk design and this one? Well, this, this is one of the first, you know, and the the four desk, the next level was with the lifting columns, and his one looks like the next level, but different. He has no lifting columns, but the legs are solid, and inside the legs there are the, the radiators, and with the cooling fans and the pumps are inside it and so the the legs don't have function only keep the the desk on one height you know mm -hmm. it's a different design but mm -hmm. i will show it to you then you understand what i'm talking about okay do you um your liquid cooling components um is it pretty much high flow that everyone goes to in the netherlands for their to their supplies yeah. okay yeah yeah high flow that's the 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 popular site in the netherlands and the biggest one everybody goes there buying mm -hmm. products are you still running a single monitor on on your desk on this one yeah on this okay. one still single but this time it's almost as big as the desk I have. <laughs> and about how big is that in inches is it like 50 inches or uh, i don't know anymore let me see i, I can find it it's a widescreen you know a, a mm -hmm. cinema cinematic uh, mm -hmm. let me see oh i cannot see it <laughs> 40 something inch something oh, okay. like this 40 inch something like this 42 i don't know it's something like this it's almost as big and the desk is 120 centimeters and the screen is like one meter or something so mm. yeah it's big enough i can see everything let me see. oh i get a measurement let me see it's oh no it's 83 centimeters and the desk is 106 so yeah i was off but it's a big screen mm -hmm. yeah it's so clean so clean man 
that was the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you wanted something that wouldn't. Um, uh, that you wanted something that would flow with your interior design already. I can tell, like looking at the back of your room and, and yeah. it, to the misses, that was important that it wasn't um, obtrusive and it flowed with everything. So, well, yeah, and, and if it wasn't good for the message, I could always get another message, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I also didn't see that. I was just <laughs> he's sitting two meters away from me. I'm looking at me. Okay, come to back to it later on. We, She's got we will settle this. <laughs> I like I like a wife with a sense of humor. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, fractal design. You did something with a fractal design, or what was this? No, stuff? no, no, oh, just no. fans. Oh, okay. Yeah, only fans. Um, is there any other folder you want us to look at? Yeah, you go, uh, you go back. You can see. Uh, flip mode is there. The next level is in there. The ich notice is there. Project P42. That's the one I I used with. Together with my son, it was the two uh, ITX ITX uh, motherboards inside one case. You know, you could play with two people <laughs> on this thing. <laughs> That's awesome. That, that yeah. was fun, man. That, really fun to make. And no water cooling, only air cooled, so it was old school. Oh man! And single power supply driving them both. No, two power supplies. Oh, okay. But connected together, so only one power cord. <laughs> ah, okay. Everything was hiding. Um, what I like with my projects, I, I like to hide cables. I don't yeah. want to see cables. That's really the main thing I want. Yeah, yeah. man. Yep. See, it's clean. It's not, it's clean inside, and that's what I like. Is um okay? So you had a Chevy Malibu. What year was your Malibu? It's something ninety seven or something. It was a, a later model, you know. Was it? Did you get that because you wanted to get an American car and be different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try something different, man. Uh, for me, a Dutch Charger would be nice, man. The one from the Dukes oh, of Hazzard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a 1970, I believe. Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, are you a fan of uh, the Steve McQueen Bullet? movie yeah, yeah also man what's yeah. really nice car also yeah. the must it was yeah. the fourth mustang yep that's 68 fastback and then there was the black charger and that i think that was a 69 charger um and the movie with nicholas cage um the, the eleanor I, yeah man I you love need that to car. watch the original eleanor the original eleanor was from the early 70s and it was uh, in the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest car chase in a Hollywood movie, I believe the car chase was, it was like over 45 minutes long or maybe longer than that. But um, the, uh, the original Eleanor movie, and it's a yellow, I think it's a 1970 fastback, yellow Mustang. Um, but yeah, look up that sometime. You get a kick yeah, out of that. Yeah. A lot of great cars. I will do you, know, you see my me playing on a on a party with my son. You know there was a contest also, and he was doing some kind of pizza delivering game or something. He was like eight years old or something. That's great, or, or man. Seven. So, do you think that your son will be an artist fabricator, maybe too someday? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 No, he, he likes to game, and that's it, man. Mm -hmm. You see, little man. Yep. You know, the thing is, because um, I'm a car guy, too, and uh, when I where, you know, when I realized you know, I was having a son and stuff, and, and I thought, well, I, we could, like, get a project car someday and build up something, and yeah. I have, I hope, I still have that hope that at some point he'll want a car. I don't know if and when that will happen but i i just hope because it was one of the greatest things i could do if my dad is work on an old car you know um but uh you know we were talking earlier how just the generation has changed you know kids don't want to get cars they don't want to pick up tools no. you know no that's 
that's that's dying man it's there comes a point and i guess it won't take long and then all the people who know how to work with their hands are no longer there man they have to import them from other countries i think <laughs> yeah look at this guys this is pretty cool yeah the headset stand yeah that's awesome yeah i, I, I I needed that on the next level. I didn't know where to put my headset, so I was thinking, and yeah, ha half hour later, I have this. So yeah, nice. <laughs> half hour later. That's, <laughs> yeah. great. That's great, man. True artist here. Um, if there's anybody in the chat that has questions for Pascal, please, please share them. We've got a great opportunity here. It is uh, late where he is, too. Um, it's uh it's 10 39 p.m and he's got to go to work he gets up early tomorrow so we're really honored that he could join us today for this um opportunity to uh document talking with him and sharing some of his builds um here's flip mode again Let's see what else we have here. yeah for cooler master ask me to make them a mailbox man <laughs> <laughs> wow now i hope did they pay you for that yeah i i, I get a, a, a what did i get a cosmos case or something for that so yeah they asked me but they, they want to keep it a secret so <laughs> no it's not a secret anymore <laughs> <laughs> that was nice I, I like doing a lot of stuff, man, making all kinds of stuff. Uh, 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 X-housed for a car, uh, 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 a light for inside the house. Uh, it, it doesn't matter, man. Everything, what I like to make, I make. Yeah. Well, we do have uh, one of our viewers, Lifty, is wondering if you provide professional services. No. Well, I occasionally I make some parts for people, but occasionally it's not my work and I do it really as a hobby. So, yeah, if he All wants right. some parts made, I can arrange something for him. Yeah, it, the thing is, is that you have to consider that Pascal is doing this stuff on his own time in his employer's workshop. So... It's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to like, that time is so valuable to him that, he, you know, he's talking about maybe doing this new build for his daughter and you don't really want to take away that time that he's going to have working on a new project, you know, so yeah, it's, it's tough. It's a tough position to be in because um, you're, you're a father, you got kids. I understand like time is fleeting it's hard to uh, find that time to get away and work on stuff for your own enjoyment yeah days only have 24 hours man i i wish they have 36 or 48 or something you know i don't know the way you just you know we're talking about how fast you built that case are you <laughs> sure your day doesn't have 36 or 48 <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you you need to work. You have the kids. Uh, you know, before yeah. you know, the e it's evening and you go back to bed. So every hour you have, you have to work fast, man. Every three hours you may need to make a case or something. You know, <laughs> be fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Bill, I just do want to interject that the. Um that angled um, case that we were looking at before, uh, the maker was Rob Deblo DeLucci. Uh, which angled case? The one that I he mentioned. He was talking about oh. Oh, yeah, that desk. Oh, that yeah. desk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there, um, can you share a, a work log link? Is there a work log link for that? Because I know um, many uh, years I featured that on Facebook. Um, didn't really find a work log specifically. I uh, ended up finding him through BitTech. Oh, okay. So I'll keep looking to see if I can find a case. Um, Pascal, where did the, other than your son's room where he got a desk, where did the other desk go to? The next level uh, has been picked up this year. 
Um, oh. The funny story about this was desk art was gone. I have uh, I sold it and it was gone. I never heard something about it anymore. So one day I was done with the next level. So I was advertising it. But Dutch people don't want to pay a lot of money for a computer, man. They <laughs> Don't mind spending 1,000 euro for a video card, but spending money for a case or something. No, that's not not good here. So, well, a guy <laughs> was funny. The, I, I get a, a private message on tweakers and he was interesting and interested in the next level. So we got talking and he told me he has desk art. So I say, yeah, yeah, I'm wow. the third owner or, or something, he told me. He said, okay. And he said, do you want to trade? I say, yeah, let me let me hear what you want. So yeah, we come to an agreement. So he picked up the next level and left desk art here with me. And I restored it and build it back together and it's hanging <laughs> again on, on its uh, uh, place. So yeah, I'm happy, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's it it came back to me after yeah, 2010 and now it's it's back. So yeah, that's nice. And it's still uh in one piece, no dents, no no paint, no no scratches, nothing. It's um, so I was happy with the quality I made. That's awesome. It came back to its maker. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I it imagine felt- yeah. <laughs> Oh, I was just going to say in the chat, I did find that link for you. Oh, cool. Um, my internet, for some reason, it, that's a problem here at this warehouse is that suddenly it's just like throw more logs on the fire somewhere. Uh, it's slowing down. So I couldn't load those pictures. Um, uh, so um, I was going to ask Pascal. Okay, Pascal, have you had like a lot of people come out of the woodwork when they found out about this desk that you were making these desks like early on and they wanted you to build the desk for them and they just weren't realistic about how much they would cost or no not realistic they all think that they you can build this thing for like a, a one uh five hundred dollars or something <laughs> so i was like yeah okay I make you, <laughs> I make you one leg, and then we're all good. Something like one this. Leg. <laughs> yeah, it it took me. The next level was a project, and it was in, almost entirely entirely made by hand, and every piece was a project on its own. So the reservoirs was a project on its own, and also made from scratch. So the next level has really took me. A lot of time to make, and you. We all know that hours you spend in a, inside a, a, a creation, you never get back. It's it's hobby, man. So it, you don't think in money, you think in making it beautiful. So, yeah, they they all thought I could make the desk in like in in, in a few hours, and they could go buy it from me for yeah five hundred dollars. If a realistic price for that thing, yeah. I don't know, man, but not five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, not even a, a couple. Yep, I, I would say that. Yeah, at least two grand for sure. And uh, you, no hardware inside it. Your blood, sweat, and tears, man. That that you can never find that right price for anything like that. No, no, it's it, it, too many hours and and cursing and everything went in that thing, man. Kicked it. Uh, Set, set on top of it, uh, everything. So no, I can't, uh, no, not five hundred dollars. I would take a a, a big hammer <laughs> and, <laughs> and punch the hell out of the thing, man. For real. No, amazing. Um, oh, there it is. So yeah, we're looking at uh, the the blow uh, desk, and this was done uh, in two thousand fifteen. Um. And I apologize for the sound. My uh, space heater is kicked on because it is uh, cold weather here in Minnesota. Um, but uh, yeah, just take a look at this and get Pascal's reaction to it. Uh, well, I hmm, I don't like these kind of screws. I don't know what they were using those for. Uh, it's it's 
IKEA screws, I believe. Yeah. So they were, they were, they were probably using particle board or MDF would be my uh, guess. Cause that's uh, yeah, usually what yeah, you use that kind yep, of screw for. Yep. Yep. That's MDF. Oh, yeah. You can see on. it right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of MDF. I understand, you know, um, it's a cheap alternative for things. Moss, what is your feelings on MDF? It's got its places, but most of them involve the garbage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan I mean, of it. If you thought if you thought a leak in your water cooling system was bad with a normal case, you should try one with a MDF. I'm willing to yeah, bet if you had a leak oh, with an MDF yeah. case, that'd be a mess. Oh. An amazing inflating desk. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it would warp. Yeah, the the board will increase. Three times the size, I think, when it's getting in, <laughs> in water. MDF is not friends with water, man. But yeah, if you have your 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 budget is 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 small, I can understand he's using MDF, man. Not everybody has the money to to buy metal sheets and you know. So it's it's all about the budget you have. And for some things like, uh, especially sound absorption, like in speaker housings or speaker cases and stuff, they do pretty well there too, because of how dense it is and then you just cover it up. But yeah, yeah it's, I, oof, I've only ever used like maybe one sheet of it. And that was just something that I put in the back of my car to protect the back of the seats if I'm hauling tools or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. one. Yeah. Um, before we started the hangout, uh, I mentioned to Pascal um, that you were going to join us, Mosquito. Um, maybe there's a project that you could share that would was around the time that um, you were on the BitTech form that maybe Pascal had seen at the time, so we can refresh him. Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't. I was not. I believe I saw something from you, man. I really believe it's possible. Let me see if I can get. Um, I'm gonna skip to the end here. Let's see, mods or scratch builds. I wasn't really that prolific back in the day. At least not when, like, flip mode was around. Uh, let's see. Can you do screen share on your end, Moss, when you find it? Hopefully. Okay. Because his internet may be a little wonky too. So uh, you can check out this. Uh, what I'm looking at, looking at is the Dblow uh, desk build on LinusTechTips.com in their forms. And this thing was just a uh, really intimidating design. It looked like a, like a spaceship control panel or something. But you can check that out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this screen share. And see what Moss has got. Oh, cool, cool! You got some folders up, Moss. Yeah. Uh, so this was my first scratch build. I don't know. That would have been like 2011. That probably would have been what? Maybe around the time of flip mode. Flip mode was around then, wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah. 2011. Um, I think. Otherwise. So. IBM PCAT was around 2011 as well too. Nothing horribly fancy. I just gutted the an old IBM computer and rebuilt the inside of it to take new hardware. But show Pascal your um, your Lee and Lee build. That's pretty crazy. Your, art, right? your yeah dancing oh, iridescence. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice one, man. That one is, I I have a hard time trying like saying one of them is one of my favorites because they're all one of my favorites for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, like I don't know, I I try not to do the same thing more than once, and so this one was a lot of fun just because of the mm. these ground metal side panels are fun because when you change where they are in the oh, and then the screen decides it doesn't want to share anymore there we go yeah so like when you change where you are based on where the light is coming from those things just kind of dance around and it's a lot of fun but yeah uh, that's, uh, 
It's called ground metal painting. Look it up sometime. Ground metal painting. It's where you take. You could do this too, Pascal. Is you could um, you grind a steel surface. Just take a grinder and make all these swirls, and yeah. then um, you put uh, uh, candy, uh, like a candy clear uh, paint over it. So the uh, surface of the metal goes, you know, is transparent through the candy clear. Um, but that that technique goes here in the states goes back to like the 1960s choppers and hot rods. It was like just a like a Big Daddy Ed Roth style paint effect that these guys were in California were coming up with. Oh, okay, yeah, something to remember, man. And Ed Roth was the man who built the trikes, no? Yeah, Ed Ed did Ed Ed had his phase of doing uh, VW trikes um, towards the end of his um, customizing career, but uh, Ed Roth. Had done the uh, the Ed Roth. The reason he became famous as a hot rod builder because he was the first to use fiberglass. Yeah, uh, fiberglass. Yeah. yeah, and he was doing it all by hand. He would mold the bodies of these cars by hand, and he would sand them down. And basically, he was sculpting car bodies. And then um, after he did his, he did like five legendary hot rod builds. And then he went on to um, got really interested in choppers and trikes. And so he was creating custom uh, trike bodies and stuff. So. Yeah, I saw a couple of these from him and the trike bodies, uh, f also fiberglass. Yes. Nice with the with the 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 eighty style uh, seventy eighty style style painting uh, yes. on them. Really yes. nice, man. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, they they call that style like uh, scallop style, where there's like all these different colors and layers, um, stripes. Okay, um, and that's what you what mosquito did with the. Well, he did. Um, he did the ground metal painting. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Let me just see if I can bring up ground metal effect. I know a guy that's got a table. Yeah. My shop table. Yeah, it's, I, I, I've always loved it. Well, let's say actually, there's the video right there. Um, let me bring this up. Whoop. Let's see here. We can bring this up. Uh, there's the candy that we used. Um, let's see if we can, if this video shows the end results. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's go right here. We, um, we actually were shining. I don't think you're. I don't think oh. you're sharing, Bill. I think oh. it's just your camera. Good. Oh. <laughs> Good grief. Hold on here. I'm sorry. <sighs> Been... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Yes, it's hard playing the producer, director, and the talent. Uh... <laughs> 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 All right. Hold on. I'm going to the end effect here. Um, so this was this was my workshop table that we did in two thousand eight, um, and nice. what you're looking at is individual uh, steel panels. Yeah. On top, so we did all this grinding with this candy clear, and there's like there's umpteen layers of clear. That's the whole thing is though is when you do all that grinding, you've got to add a lot of layers of clear coat so you get a nice even surface for your final coat. Um but you can see what it does is like mosquito was saying it 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 dances, the paint moves around when you look at it different angles. Yeah, man. So hear me, nice. me so you get an idea here. Let's see where are we? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just went crazy with the grinder <laughs> on just yeah. and these are just plain steel panels. And Okay, and then the special code. Yep. <laughs> it was a lot of work. It was a lot of yeah, work. Man. It was like it was like like you when you're in the zone and you're and you're like just really feeling the project and you want to see it through. Um, I think he's playing the candy here. Yeah, it was a lot of paint and a lot of clear coat. But what's cool is if I ever change my shop, um, 
what I would like to do is take these panels and, and mount them on a wall in a new shop because it is at my center island bench, but there's a big thick piece of acrylic over it. So you, and I've got it, it's covered up so it doesn't get wrecked. Um, but uh, yeah, I would just like to show off the artwork of the panels on a wall if I ever get a different shop someday versus a table. You know, it was, it was kind of a, it was a crazy thing to do at the time, but um, awesome. yeah. Yeah, and I like the the pen brushing is also beautiful, man. You don't yeah, see that anymore, you know. That's Brad. Uh, Brad Dirt Designs that I've worked with for years. He's he's very talented. Yeah, yeah. Man. it's awesome. So, but uh, it's late. Uh, we all got to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't thank you enough, Pascal, for joining us. I mean, what a what an opportunity uh, for us to. Uh, get to meet you and talk about your builds and um, now archive uh, interview with you. Well, it was more or less hanging out with Pascal for about an hour. Um, yeah. Definitely yeah, one of the highlights. The yeah. Yeah. Just hanging out. It's just hanging out and bullshit and uh, yeah. Bullshit and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. It was also nice to meet you guys, man. Yeah. I mean, you're a legend. You are a legend to this hobby for sure, man. You, you created a major landmark and, and I'm excited to hear that you are thinking about coming back for this new project and sharing it with us. Uh, that's for sure. I'm going to make it in one week or so. I'm going to start and then I will contact you and we will talk about it. And I will post some pictures on your forum and on Bitdeck. And for one more time, I'm coming back to All make right. something. That's so great. That's so great. All right, man. Thank you so much. Have a good night. And also thank your wife for allowing uh, you to hang with us this evening. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. All right. So uh, you survived another hour with us at least. And uh, yeah. again, fantastic, fantastic stuff. So I just want to point out one more time. Well, we've had a very heavy gauntlet thrown at us, number one. But number two, there's always something out there you guys want to change. I know there is. It's, you know, for us up north here in the U.S., it's going to be a snowblower soon. Um, lawn mowers. We've got all kinds of mechanical conveyances other than our PCs that we want to change. So come over to themodzoo.com, start a new thread in the forum, and just show off what you're fixing, okay? Just get out there and mod something for us would you we want to share the love with the rest of the world you guys have a good one